Hello YouTube. Well, we're back with just one more installment here on the PE6502 computer here. Well, it won't just be one more, but it's an update after a while. Um, and I wanted to tell you what's new with this machine. So, um, first things first, we've evolved the ROM a little bit. So we've added Applesoft in ROM, as you can see here. Uh, I've got the uh, Applesoft running in this computer. I've typed in a little bubble sort here. I seem to like to do that for some reason. Okay, little uh, graphical demo, but uh, let's see, print 1.1 plus 3.4, right? We want to see that uh, you can go beyond just integers. And you can, okay? Uh, let's get out of Applesoft here. And we're at the machine uh, language prompt. Let's go to integer basic. Um, You'll get both in ROM. I'm not sure if that's me doing something stupid or integer basic erroring out uh, when you try and do something that's not an integer. Call minus 256 exits either one. Let's hit reset here on the propeller. Uh, let's see what else is new with this ROM uh, version. Well, it's not so much the ROM as the propeller now has built-in support for serial thanks to a guy named Costas, um, who's the first person to build the PC board version of the PE6502. You can see I'm still uh, uh, still haven't assembled mine, so I've got my breadboard um, set up but it's uh, functionally identical and so Costas um, helped me out a great deal he implemented in the uh, propeller a different font serial um, fast serial with handshaking um, which the hardware already supported but I hadn't yet uh, included that in the propeller software you saw me in a previous YouTube I had to switch back and forth and propeller um, software. Now it's all in one built in. You don't have to switch back and forth anymore. In fact, there's a little indicator there, serial not connected. When we connect the serial, it uh, says serial connected in green. And then if you're using a uh, terminal emulator like TerraTerm, it'll print ready in TerraTerm, letting you know that the serial connection is ready to go. So using that, you can save programs, you can load programs, fast load programs. Um, much better than uh, the setup I had before when I was loading checkers and I had to use a delay. Um, what else? And uh, yeah, I guess I've already mentioned a little bit, uh, we've, we've got colors now, uh, which makes this a lot more pleasurable to use. So the biggest update is I've decided to uh, go ahead and sell kits of this computer because um, the Replica 1 from Brio uh, Computers is no longer available for sale. I guess he's, uh, unfortunately, because he was a great asset to the hobbyist community, but unfortunately he's not selling kits right now. And I do think that this computer has gone uh, far enough away from a direct replica of an Apple 1 uh, that it makes sense to, uh, to sell kits. So I'm still working out the price point um, I think worst case scenario, a full kit with PC board and all components should be under $130 uh, shipped in the U.S. Okay, I'm still working on uh, how well I ship to Europe and if I buy in volume, I can probably get the price a lot lower than that and I'm still working on those numbers. But worst case scenario, shipped uh, just under $130, you get a PC board. You get the 6502 microprocessor, the propeller, all components you need. Uh, the only thing that you would have to get on your own is obviously you'd need a host computer to program it over the uh, serial port. 
and you'll need a USB to serial adapter if your computer doesn't already have a DB9 serial adapter. So that part's on you. Um, and you'll need a wall wart uh, power adapter, something around uh, 1,000 milliamps, um, 9 volt DC, tip positive. Um, but anyways, um, you'll get the PC board, you'll get all the chips, all the passive components like resistors and capacitors. Um, you'll get, um, let's see, the, the, uh, the ROM image will be burned for you. The propeller ROM will be burned. So all you have to do is uh, plug all the chips into the sockets. There's high quality sockets will be included. Should be a really nice kit. And if you want to learn more about it, it's not for sale just yet because I still need to assemble my own kit. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to take lots of pictures and create a really nice assembly manual so anybody can assemble it. There'll be uh, steps uh, for testing after each major component is assembled so you know you're on the rails. Anyways, if you want to learn more about this, we'll try and do this uh, real time. And my laptop computer is a bit finicky, so... Anyway, um, go to Putnam Electronics, which I'll go there now. I've updated the website. It's no longer as brutally 1990s looking as it was when I did my Altair videos. Um, notice I'm still typing in all caps like somebody would do in 1980 because uh, electronics. And apparently I can't spell and type at the same time. And take caps lock off. Okay, I've updated my website here. So at the, uh, the top left here, if you click products, do this real time, the action pack. This, this poor laptop has got a touchpad. Uh, I need to uh, plug a mouse into it, right? But here you go, products. And there is the PE6502 computer. Oops, sorry about that. There's the assembled beast. Uh, very cool, ready to run. It's a good looking machine. It's a uh, four by six in size, four inches by six inches, so it's pretty small. It should fit a lot of different things. Use the standard DB9 serial uh, header connector. Um, that little harness there will be included in your build, right? So all you have to do is plug it into serial. You'll need your own PS2 keyboard, of course. Composite um, cable is not included. And again, the power adapter is not included. You'll need your own solder too, but uh, that's pretty standard as far as kits go. And there you have it. Uh, it should be a fun thing. So keep an eye on the website if you want to buy one. Any of the links that say contact me work, I will be checking my email. So uh, reach out and uh, talk to me if you want to order one of these. I think it'll be a great kit for educational purposes, uh, for learning, um, just for fun. I mean, it's... Um, it's really outfitted well. It's 6502's on board, of course, but uh, the propeller is also an eight cog or an eight uh, core um, microcontroller. Uh, it's got flash RAM on there. You can program it over the serial plug, so you don't need a propeller plug, although it does have a dedicated propeller plug uh, um, header on the board. Um, and it's got a full expansion port for later things that I might make, or maybe you want to wire it up to a breadboard and uh, and try and get a SID chip running or something crazy like that. Uh, you could even use this as an embedded controller. So uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.